I want you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feeling so late, I don't care. Shorty beat in the face in the mirror, up in the air. I want you to jump, 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 Like you trying to get stuck in it. In the air. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into this glamorous, glowy, peachy, smoky eye look. I'm feeling the high fashion fantasy. And yes, I might have sex after I finish this video. But today we are gonna recreate this look. Now, I got so many requests from about a week or two ago when me and Manny did our reading mean hate comments video. You guys were all like, what the hell is on your eyes? So today we're gonna recreate that. And can we just talk about the glow for a second? Like, ooh, it's like burning my cheeks. My retinas are on fire. We are using two highlighters today for the glow. We're also gonna be testing out some new Marc Jacobs beauty products that have real coconut infused in the makeup. Do they work or do they not? That is the question. But besides that, you guys, if you wanna see how I created this fantasy, then keep on watching. All right, let's dive into this look. So today, um, as you can tell, I have no contacts in. Um, these are my real brown, hazel-ish eyes. Now, for primer, today we are going to be going into one of my all-time favorites, the Sisley Double Tensier Primer. This one is everything! So I'm gonna, of course, coat my fingers and rub this all over my face. For foundation today, I'm gonna be going in with something I haven't really used on camera before. It is from the brand Grillon, and this is the Lingerie Foundation. Um, now, this one is supposed to be a skin fusion-like texture where you just look amazing and flawless. Now, let's get a little damp beauty blender and get to work. All right, now for concealer today, I'm gonna be going in with the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I used this the other day in a full face first impressions and I was shocked at how like smooth it went, it went on my skin. I was like, oh, okay, honey. So we're gonna be dipping in again. Now I'm just gonna go in because this is mine, of course. I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and get some on the tip. <laughs> Come on, tip. And I'm just gonna take this and put it right under my eyes. Oh my god, you guys, this concealer like melts into your skin, maybe because the beauty blender's damp and it like really works well with it, but mm. only thing I wish is the shade was a little lighter. This is their lightest shade. This is number one. I just wish there was a little bit more, but I'm gonna add some powder in a second and brighten it and set this face. Now I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix in shade Shivering White with the damp beauty blender. I've been doing this for years and lately I have kind of been, you know, I've been trying so many new products, I've been steering away from this, but I'm going back to my favorite trick of really like lightening the under eyes and looking lifted. So we're gonna take that on the damp beauty blender and what I do is I'll just take it right under the eyes and I will press it in almost like an upside down triangle type of motion and it just gives you in a look of like, ooh, her skin is snatched. All right, now we're gonna really set the under eyes and anywhere where I put concealer, like the chin, the bridge of my nose, and of course the forehead, and I'm gonna go in with my favorite setting powder of all time, the La Mer The Powder. And you guys know I have been using damp beauty blenders forever to dip into the powder. It melts right into your skin, and it is a nice little beauty hack. And we're just gonna buff that into the skin, and you can leave it and just have it sit there for a minute while it soaks in, and you can brush it away in a second. Now I'm just gonna take a little synthetic brush and brush off all of the loose powder. And now it's time to do a little bit of a uh, cunt tour, if you will. So today I'm gonna be going in with a brand new bronzer that I just discovered at Sephora. And it is from the brand Marc Jacobs. Of course, Marc Jacobs Beauty is exclusively in Sephora. Now this is the new coconut bronzer. Look how big the packaging is, honey. Yes, you know I'm a size queen. 
Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like pure coconut in your nose. And this shade is called Tantastic. It is the mega bronzer. And this is of course limited edition in the beautiful stunning white packaging. Now it also has a brush you can buy with it, which looks something like this. Look how big that brush is though. Look at that. Now I think you're supposed to, you know, use the brush with this and go in. I'm not sure. Oh wow, that's like a lot of product. So I might go in a little bit just to see what it looks like. I'm scared it's gonna be really pigmented. I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, I just bronzed up my entire face. We hit the cheeks, forehead, jawline, and nose. Oh, even my brush smells like coconut. I'm like, I'm hungry now, girl, fuck. Now we are going to do some highlight right now. Um, my new favorite combination is Peach Goddess with Eclipse Skin Frost, mixing these together, oh my lord. So I am going to take this Anastasia A23 brush and we are going to go into Peach Goddess. Uh, hi. Mm. All right, Peach Goddess is laid down. Now I'm gonna take out Eclipse and use a Morphe 510 brush. And we're just gonna gently caress the moon and put that right over. Ooh, Lord help me now. All right, now you guys have seen me do my brows a million times, so I'm going to quickly do them off camera with a little bit of benefit precisely my brow and the Anastasia dip brow. And I'll be right back. All right, now let's get these eyes started. Today we're gonna be using the YSL Couture Eye Primer. So remember to always, of course, use a synthetic makeup brush when applying any primers. All right, now that the primer is down, I'm going to take a ivory shade and put it all over my lid up to the brow bone. And I'm gonna be really shady because it is a shadow that I am working on for the fall and it's not final, so no one go crazy and post about it or you can't post about it because I love when you do that. But um, it's just a shadow that I'm working on that I am not going to show on camera yet because I don't know if I'm going to change it or alter it. But the fun thing about lab samples is that you can play around with it for a while and tweak it any which way you want. So it's a it's kind of similar to my shade China White in the Beauty Killer palette, but it's a little more, a little more intense. Now this eye look is really simple. It looks a little smoky and dramatic, but I really only used like two brushes and literally two eyeshadows. So we're going to pull out my Androgyny eyeshadow palette. And today we are going to, I'm feeling like Vanna White. Ta -da. Today we are going to be dipping into only a few shades. And one of them, which is the main star of the look, is of course Charm, my favorite transition color for really any look. And we're literally just going to start patting this on our eye. So you're gonna take the brush and you're just gonna start in the inner corner and I'm gonna go like this. And that is like a little placeholder for where I am going to stop. So we're gonna start there. And now we're gonna take this brush with the same, of course, shadow. And we're gonna go all the way over. And then you're gonna take it and I'm gonna start going into my crease. And we're gonna go all the way in like this. And you're gonna stop it right outside of the eye. And now you're gonna fill it in and do the same on the other side. Up in the air, I want you to jump. So I am just packing on charm all over the lid. And what I quickly did off camera is I took a blending brush and I just kind of feathered it out. Barely with any product on the end, you're just gonna go and basically in little motions like this, you're just gonna blend up and outward. And now we're going to take a tiny little MAC detailer brush. This is the 221. And we are going to dip into shade Dominatrix, this beautiful dark chocolate shade right here. A little goes a long way with this one, so I like to coat the bristles completely, knock it off a little bit. And then this is really easy. I'm gonna put this right in my crease. So I'm gonna tilt my head up a little bit. So we're just gonna massage this into the crease and give us that really dramatic look. All right, now this eye look is almost done. We just gotta smoke out the under, but before I do that, I'm just gonna go back in to Eclipse really quickly with the brush we put on the primer. And we're just gonna go right below the brow bone and we're just gonna pack on some Eclipse right 
and the arch of my brow, just so it gives it a more uplifted look. All right, now we're gonna go in with one of my all-time favorite black liners. This is Smolder from MAC, and I am just going to put this in my waterline quickly and then get to smoking. All right, now I'm going to go back in with Charm. We're literally just gonna place this right below the waterline and just drag it out. And sometimes I like to tilt my head so there's no fallout. All right, now I'm gonna take another tiny little brush. This is the Morphe 507. And I'm gonna go back into Dominatrix for one split second. And I'm literally just gonna brush right below where I put Smolder, only like barely. So this is only gonna give you a little bit of a liner effect, but like barely. This is like just a little detail I wanna add. Ah, oh, hi there. Now it is time for mascara. So of course, y'all know I'm about to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And then we're gonna put on some falsies, so let's get to it. All right, now I'm gonna quickly pop on some lashes, and today I'm gonna go in with the Lily Lashes in Style Miami. These are really gorgeous, but not too dramatic. I want the eyes to really have a moment of like, hi, I'm peachy and I'm here, bitch. So I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. Now it's time for the lips. Today I'm gonna be going in with the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream in shade what is this one called again? Yours to try. This is a beautiful, warm toned nude color. I think it's gonna go perfect with this eye look. All right, lips are on. Ooh, I love this color combo right now. All right, I think the only thing left to do is set the face and not to sound like this is a coconut Marc Jacobs whore ad, but they also came out with a brand new setting spray and I just got all this stuff in the mail right before I filmed this, so I thought, you know what, let's give this a whirl. Now you will see some missing because I was trying out the pump. I heard so many mixed reviews online and I saw my girl Jaclyn Hill on Snapchat a few weeks ago using this and a lot of people were saying that the spray came out like really like, I guess, intense. I noticed that if you don't press down all the way, it does kind of shoot out. So quick advice for anyone that has this or is about to try it, you have to go all the way down and then it creates a beautiful fine mist. So I saw a lot of people um, just kind of like venting or asking me, have I tried this yet? So I haven't tried it on my face. I've just sprayed it a million times. So let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. I forgot to even say what this is called, you guys. Sorry. This is the Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist Recover, it says on the bottom. Now, I am noticing that it didn't completely like dry down on my forehead area, but the rest of my face it did. So I'm just gonna take this beauty blender and just kind of buff out those little like, it looks, almost looks like droplets on my forehead. There we go, and it is blended. Pretty blended. Now, the setting spray also said that it was supposed to lock in your makeup for like 24 hours. I'm like, girl, I ain't wearing makeup for more than six hours. But um, I will let you guys know in the description box if this worked for me or not. But so far, it smells amazing. I mean, all the coconut stuff is just like, I don't know, I'm like hungry right now. I'm like, craving a chocolate bar with some coconut shavings on it. But um, all right, you guys, I think that this look is almost complete. I wanna change my hair and do something a little different because so many of you are like, girl, where's your slate intro shots? Where's the fucking wigs? Well, I'll be right back then. And this is the final look. I am feeling this high fashion glam moment. Look at this hair, bitch. Slayed by David Scissorhands. Don't fucking play me, baby. I love this look. I feel like I could wear this anywhere to Walmart, to the grocery store, to a fashion show in New York, on the runway of Paris. I'm just feeling myself right now. But um, I hope you guys love the final look. I had so much fun filming it. I would love it if you guys recreated this look. If you have the Androgyny palette, dip into Charm Honey and create some magic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, you guys are the best. I will see you on the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.